Welcome to From the Pastor's Kitchen, where I get to share with you two of my greatest passions, my love for Christ and cooking. Hey, today I'm going to share with you uh, the roasting of a cauliflower. I'm going to roast this cauliflower in my air fryer, and I'm excited about it. I've cooked it before in the oven, but now I want to put it in the air fryer and try the difference. And today, I have a purple cauliflower. I've never tried this before, so I went to the market. I said, well, let me try something different. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut it. Then we're going to season it. I'm going to season it in the pan that I'm just going to insert right into the air fryer. Let's do it, okay? Okay, here we go, everybody. I'm just going to take it and cut it and move my... Okay, here we go, everybody. This is the pan that I'm going to put it in. All right? I'm going to cut it for you. Just like so. There we go. And I should be able to get one more out of here. And there we go. And I'm going to lay them down flat like this. I'm going to season them, but I'm going to take them and put them inside of here because I don't want to lose this seasoning. I believe I can put all of this inside of here. And let's just cook it. Let's just roast it in here. A little bit. It's just not a lot. It's just one cauliflower. Let's move this out the way. And let's begin to season it. My trusty adobo. Because I don't want to lose the seasoning and it'll hold inside of here. Some no salt seasoning that I go to and gravitate to all the time. That's what I use. One here. I'm going to do both sides. This is some roasted garlic and herbs. Oh my goodness. It's going to set it off. It's going to do some justice for this. This is just one side. And then some black pepper. Trying to keep it simple. I'm going to just put it right on in. Turn this over. What I'm going to do first, spray it with some olive oil on this side so this remain on here. When you flip it, sometimes you flip it over and it may not stay, so it'll stay like this. There we go. Take this one, put it down over there, and then put this over here. Turn these over. It's over, and this last one. I'm gonna roast them for about 15 minutes. It's my first time cooking them in there, so I'm hoping that it will only take like 15 minutes. If not, we'll time it, and I'll give you the actual timing once it's all completed. Going through the same process all over again and seasoning it. Some adobo. It has a hint of salt in it. You know that I don't use any raw salt on anything. You gotta season these up. This, this is a no salt seasoning. It's got a lot of herbs in it. Some black pepper. Some cracked black pepper. There we go. And some roasted garlic and herbs on here all over here and we're going to spray it down this is olive oil that i'm spraying it with i'm going to take this now that i've seasoned and put it in the air fryer for about 15 minutes i can go to cooking something else which i am going to do and share with you in another video let's go over to the air fryer Okay, here we go. Gonna put it in the air fryer. We're gonna get started now. Getting started. 350 degrees for 15 minutes. We'll check it at about seven or eight minutes. Let you know what's going on with it. And hopefully it shouldn't take any more than 15, but if it does, I'll keep you informed and I'll update you. All right, we'll be right back. 
Okay, PFAM, I've flipped the uh, cauliflower over. Uh, it's tender too, a little tender, but I haven't tasted it yet. I'm going to let it cook thoroughly for the 15 minutes, as I stated before. And I flipped them over because I want to make sure that it browns on both sides. We'll be right back with the finished product. Okay, PFAM, I am back with the finished product for this purple cauliflower, and it is fantastic. I took it, and I did cook it for 15 minutes in the air fryer. Here we go. Just a glimpse of it. There's no difference in the taste with it being white than it is being purple. Presentation-wise, I find it to be beautiful. Uh, but before I actually share this with you and we get a chance to dine together, I want to give you a word, love. What is love? What does that really mean to you? Because so often we use it out of context. We really do. How can you love uh, God that you've never seen and we can't even love our brothers here today and he says out of everything else love is the greatest so he has left us Jesus our father the Holy Spirit has left us with two commandments over Matthew to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart thy soul thy mind and to love thy neighbor as thyself love love for a lot of times we, we use it so liberally in the world today and then tomorrow we we'll dislike someone or becomes a deep-seated hatred. And how does that happen so quickly? Because God even says for us to love our enemies, which is very difficult for us to do. It is. It really is. But with the Lord in you, Emmanuel being present within you, all things are possible. So the next time you use the word, make sure you think about it. You're giving some actual thought to it so it really has credence in whatever you're saying or expressing to someone because you can love them today and hate them tomorrow. That's not God. That's not what he wants us to do. He wants us to love in spite of, in spite of. He wants us to forgive. It's all in the process of who God is. God is love. Don't say you love someone else and you don't love the Father. Let me share this with you. I'm cooking today, so I'm cooking something else as you see the smoke rising here as I'm also cooking these, these ribs here. But let me share this with you as well. Lord, I thank you. These purple cauliflower. It is really good. Let me share it with you. Check it out. Purple cauliflower cooked in the air fryer for 15 minutes. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Until next week, everybody.